if you're very quiet and you have good eyes you might see what got my attention here a little bit tricky because the brush is pretty thick but let's consider this a where's Waldo just out picking some berries and something caught my eye in the brush so I decided to whip out the old camera and see if I could get it on film and I did do you see it yet? there it goes and it's friend your season is coming. Let's take a look at through another review. Keep an eye on the reticle. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Today Isle. I'm Clickin, and today I want to talk about mushrooms. It's mushroom season. All out. There are mushrooms everywhere. And not all of them are edible. <laughs> so today I want to talk about the King Bolete, the Porcini mushroom. These are considered to be a prized choice edible. Very, very exquisite mushroom. Uh, very good flavor, and somewhat easy to identify so you'll notice these this group of mushrooms that I have here they're all polypores so instead of gills they have oh, focus you they have pores on the underside as you can see now they all resemble bolites bolites are I mean this is a classic example of what a bolete would look like it would have a brown top like so. and usually a, um, a wide base kind of the opposite of tapered so looking at these I can tell you right away that there are three types here one is poison another one is so bitter that it would render any meal completely impalatable and the other is the King Bolite, the Porcini, a delicious, delicious mushroom. So the first thing I want to show you is, okay, there are slight variations in the cap color. So if you look at this one, and you look at this one, there's a difference in the, in the shade of brown. Bolites tend to be on the lighter side. Now this one is really light, a lot lighter than that. This one, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I, I actually don't know what it is. But I do not believe it to be edible for the simple fact that the stem is all wrong. Take a look at this thing. It's tapered in reverse. So it's, uh, sorry, it's, it's actually tapered. <laughs> so, and also the stem goes up into the cap like that. And there's this weird yellow and pink kind of color going on, which, yeah, that's freaky. So I don't know what it is, I just thought it was a really cool looking specimen. And I just wanted to go to show that uh, there are lots of different bolete lookalikes out there. So be very careful, make sure you know what you're doing. So let's start with this guy. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that the gills underneath will turn a dark color as they mature. So when you find them young, the caps will be very light underneath. Um, but they do become a bit yellowy with age and what you don't want to see is a red and I don't know if you can tell on the camera but there's a significant amount of red on that cap huh so that's something to keep in mind and this one is is more of a olive color but a simple test you can do to see if you're actually getting a bolete is a scratch test so if you take a twig and hold it with one hand here. 
big twig and you just do a scratch on the pore surface underneath. Give it a second and watch it. So this one doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. It bruised it slightly, no big deal. Take a look at this one when I scratch the surface. I don't know if you see that, but it almost instantly turns blue. See how that's, how that's turning blue? Freaky, right? <laughs> well, the rule of thumb is if it turns blue, so will you. <laughs> so, this here is the poison one. Darker on the top, usually almost always a yellowy kind of greenish on the bottom, and it stains blue when you bruise the underside, the gills. So that, we can throw away. <laughs> now we've got two other here, two others. This one here looks to be, look at the color of that cap. That looks like nice toasted bread. I, I see that it's the same color as the one that we just scratched and turned blue. And so let's give it a scratch. I've actually scratched it a few times already, but I didn't scratch it very deeply or very well. Come on. I'm gonna see if that's gonna turn blue. Ooh. Now you can see shadows and I've scored it quite deeply. Let me just give it a push. As you can see, it's definitely not turning blue really quickly. Um, another indicator is also the color of the stem. When they're young, very young, they have a very white stem. Hint, hint. There. <laughs> so this is this is definitely a porcini. Um, these guys look well; they're they're pretty indistinguishable. They have like this great big fat base and tiny little cap. The cap will grow as they mature. This guy here, I believe, is also a bleep, but I'm not 100% sure, and there's another test that we can do to, to make sure that you're getting a bleep, and it's risky, but it's it's not. I mean, you're not going to eat it, but you do have to taste it. So you have to break a piece off. Oh. This one's a bit spongy, but nice white flesh. Let's just touch it here and see if it bruises blue. Nope, doesn't seem to be. So, we have to touch our tongue against it and see if it's bitter. That is not bitter. So this is most likely a bleed. I'm gonna do a, a few further tests, but I strongly believe this is to be a bleed. Um, this guy with the red underside is not likely to be a bleed. It's not gonna stain blue like the other one. In fact, it probably will stain more of a reddish color. But if I take a piece off of this and I touch my tongue to it, oh god. <laughs> bitter as you can imagine. Extremely bitter. So that would ruin any meal. That one's gone. That I'm not going to try. That one is unknown to me. Get off of their flies. Flies are bad for mushrooms. They will lay maggots all through them. And uh, that'll wreck your day. <laughs> In a hurry. So, you know, this guy here, he's... I could peel this cap off. The cap is, is rather damaged and sticky. I can, I can certainly peel that off and use it. But it's really slug-eaten. It's quite damaged. So I think I'm just going to pop it into the woods here to maybe hopefully it'll drop its spores and next year I'll have some growing in a patch over there. <laughs> Wishful thinking. But these two, I strongly believe are bleeds, although the color is very different. This this could be one of those bitter ones. Um, we're gonna have to do a test, I guess. I don't, I don't like wrecking the mushrooms, but sometimes you just have to do it in order to, well, to science it. So I'll take a piece. Oh God. Ew! It's bitter. So this is not a bleed. This is the lookalike. But it th just goes to show you that they are very, very similar. Uh, that leaves a bad taste. But it is not 
poisonous. It will give you gastric upset if you eat it, but it's uh, it's not toxic. Just really, really bad tasting. I'm gonna throw this one really far in the woods because I don't want it growing anywhere near here, even though they're beautiful. Um, yeah. I also found some what I believe are honey mushrooms, and I'm going to test them. I'm going to see because they should drop a white spore print, and if they do, then they are honey mushrooms. If they don't, they aren't. So, going to do the spore printing in the house. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a couple of these in the fridge now, so tonight we will be dining on bolites. Mm -mm, cannot wait. I will be doing, of course, the um, the taste test before I cook with all of them, just to be 100% sure. But I, I have a high level of confidence based on the cap color, the stem color, the spore color, and uh, the shape. That that is a, a bolete mushroom, a king bolete. Alright, see you next time. So, a little update on that honey mushroom, or what I suspected was a honey mushroom. If you can see here, this has been sitting for... Oh, focus you. It's been sitting for about four hours or so. And you can clearly see a white spore print. So, I am 97% sure that this is a honey mushroom. This is based off of research that I've done both in books and online and through videos. And uh, yeah, an edible mushroom, you have to cook it well, cook it for at least 15 minutes, and usually you only eat the cap. Um, the specimens that I found were a bit older, so I might just wait until the next batch pops up. But that's how you can tell if it's a honey mushroom. So you're looking for black or dark colored hairs on the top, focused along the center more so. You can kind of see the scales there. You're looking for a, kind of a honey color, a lighter underside. The stem has a ring, and this one unfortunately doesn't have a stem to show you. But, uh, and then the spore print is white. So that should eliminate any confusion about any uh, lookalikes. Well, it's elderberry season, and if you take a look here, this is a patch just along the side of the road. Now, I'm a little bit late to the game, it looks like, because a lot of them have been taken away, probably by birds. But I'm going to take a look and see what I can gather, and I'll show you when I'm done.